podemos comprar, imagínense si tuviera un código de conducta que está ahí en la pared. We're at a really critical and important moment in our work to end sexual violence. Today, more than ever, we are at a time where the nation is talking about sexual violence. With making sexual violence so visible and putting a face and a voice to it, we are now charged with the accountability of preventing it. If you tend to think of just a victim or just a survivor and just the individual who's hurting them, and, and we don't always understand that there's a, a larger set of people who are impacted. And so public health field, um, I appreciate that they bring a sense of an, analyzing the situation not only from the individual, but seeing the family, seeing the community impact and the societal sort of impact, which is really how we're going to turn the tide and, and change this issue once and for all. We really believe at CalCASA that sexual violence is preventable. We know that it's not inevitable. We know that criminalization will not end sexual violence. Instead, what we need to do is really look at how we train, change the conditions, we change the attitudes, and we create those kinds of shifts that currently allow sexual violence to exist. Sexual assault and violence uh, is very prevalent in the janitorial industry because uh, it is an incredibly vulnerable workforce. And so what we were really looking for was a way to not just deal with the symptoms of sexual violence in the workplace, but a way to prevent this from happening in the first place, at the very, uh, at, the, at the level of sexual harassment, so that it didn't end in rape on the night shift. And so our partnership was about where do we start? Uh, and Calcasa said to us, start from within. And we did. No, muchas de mis compañeras han sufrido hasta violaciones en el trabajo. Pero gracias a, a Calcasa y su apoyo, logramos pasar de ser víctimas a ser sobrevivientes. Calcasa is intentional about seeking out relationships with those that are able to influence change. Uber wants to be a part of the solution in preventing sexual violence, um, not just with our customers, our riders and drivers, but also in our communities at large, because we know this is a societal problem. One of the things that we're doing is we committed $5 million towards prevention initiatives. Um, we have created education for riders and drivers, and we created that in partnership with um, experts like Calcasa. We have effectively looked at ending sexual violence by networking and partnering with agencies and, and organizations that we've never brought to the table before. That includes the California Department of Corrections, the NFL, different sport entities that historically we've not gone there. Through CalCASA's National Partnership Reliance, we are working with sport to be able to prevent sexual violence. We see that sport is not just where sexual violence takes place, but also a place that sport can be part of the solution to be able to end this. I think the, the biggest accomplishment um, with CalCASA's consultation has been that culture of learning how to speak the common language, how to respect one another in that space, and being more trauma-informed and survivor-centered. That approach is, is a direct result of having CalCASA as our consultant. I was very inspired attending a three-day training with CalCASA. We're really becoming more intentional about creating a culture of prevention within our churches. Uh, our churches are places full of compassionate people that can link arms with other agencies like CalCASA to address these issues. Our policy efforts are always focused on preventing sexual violence first and then on responding and supporting the needs of survivors of sexual assault as well. We did a cost report, cost and consequences of sexual violence in California. And when we estimated how much it cost California, that totaled up to almost $140 billion. And so that's why investing in prevention is really important. We asked for an increased budgetary commitment from the state of California for prevention, intervention, and research on sexual violence. We succeeded in securing $5 million additional dollars for rape crisis centers in California. We believe that that's going to make a huge difference, and we feel really proud of that advocacy. We're excited for next year to go back and do it again. 
Sexual violence and domestic violence have a lot of the same root causes around power and control and misogyny. And we understand that if we're really going to prevent sexual violence and domestic violence, it really behooves us to work together reciprocally. CalCost has been a wonderful partner in that. I think we've really pushed one another. Um, we've innovated in different ways, but we've done it in a way that's been uh, very coordinated to make sure that we're advancing kind of the same um, solutions. We believe that having a goal of ending sexual violence in one generation is really important. We believe it's important because we have to establish an urgency and we have to establish that everybody needs to get involved today, not tomorrow, but today in looking at the inequities that make sexual violence possible. And by doing that, we believe we have a chance of ending this.